Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at version 3 of the Through Night Archer 1A. Through Night sent me this flashlight for review, and this is my favorite of all Through Night flashlights from the very first version. Version 1, version 2, and now version 3. What's incredible about this version is they made it smaller, lighter, 200 lumens, all out of a single AA battery. This flashlight came in this box. You get a manual and warranty information, the letter thanking you, and contact information to get service if you require it. You get a lanyard, an extra tail cap cover, and some extra O-rings. The use of this flashlight is a tactical flashlight, and it's an extremely compact tactical flashlight. I want to bring in the version 1 and version 2. This is the Archer version 2. This is the Archer version 1. And you can see how it has gotten smaller, thinner, lighter over time, and more powerful, and easier to use. The original only had one tail cap, uh, or one button. You didn't have an extra button. And they added that extra button in version 2, but it was still um, big compared to the new version 3, which is uh, definitely slimmer and lighter. Um, it's tactical because it has a strobe, and it has a crown bezel right there. You have an anti-reflective glass lens, orange peel reflector, and a Cree XP-L V6 LED emitter that will last you 20 years and give you 200 lumens with a single AA battery. To put the battery in, you just grab the knurling on the tail cap, give it uh, some spins counterclockwise, or left turn, lefty loosey, ready tidy. Put the positive in first. There is reverse polarity protection. You can see it has greased threads and you have an o-ring right there to keep it waterproof. This flashlight is waterproof to two meters, the IPX8 standard. So no problem there if you drop it in water or you have it out in the rain or what not. Um, this is your mode select button right here. And you have a clip which is reversible. You can go ahead and pull this off and turn it around if you want. A whole bunch of knurling here, a whole bunch of knurling here. All aircraft grade aluminum with a nice black anodized hard coat finish. I've never had the finish come off of any of my through night flashlights. Down here you have the on off button which is also a momentary. And what I mean by that is you want to turn it on, you press it, it turns on. You press it, it turns off. You just press it a little bit. See that? So it just stays on as long as you hold it. If you continue to press it, it clicks and then it stays on. That's a forward clicky. That gives you that momentary function. And you can see that that button is covered by um, a little rubber covering there. And it's sort of U-shaped. You have some holes here. So if you want to put that lanyard on there, you can. But what also, you know, it's since this is sort of a U-shape here, it makes it easier to press the button and it gives you the ability to tail stand. So, if, let's say you had a power outage, you could sort of use this as a candle. You turn it on, you just set it down um, like that, and then it shines light up on your ceiling, which lights up your whole room. And you saw me put a AA battery in here. You could also put a 14500 rechargeable battery, which will get you even more power and, and time out of it than a normal AA. You could also use rechargeable AA in here. Um, really anything you want, because the working voltage is from 0.9 to 5 volts. So you have a large range of voltage to work with as far as what you can put in here. So let's go over the five modes that this has. And what I'm going to do instead of just telling you and making this last longer is I'm going to put the run times and the lumens in the corner right down here. So let's go ahead and start this. And what I'm going to do is round robin to start off with the firefly mode. I'm going to put this down here. And you can see you really can't see anything. What that is is for um, night when it's really dark and you don't want to ruin your night vision. So you just look at something like a map or chart or, or whatnot and don't ruin your night vision. 
Then we'll go ahead and push this mode select button. See, it is on. Hit the mode select button. Comes up to low. And you can see here what the angle of light that's coming out here. Then you hit it again, you have medium. Hit it again, you have high. And this is 200 lumens. And it could do 200 lumens for three and a half, I'm sorry, for 115 minutes. 115 minutes. Now if you need strobe, press and hold that button and it strobes. And it's doing that also at 200 lumens. And it can do it for three and a half hours, just like that. So what that does is it gives you quick, easy access to the strobe function. So I can turn this on, press and hold the button. So if you got an attacker coming, you need to mess up their vision, you can get this strobe in. Really easy. Press it again, it goes back to whatever the last mode is. Which, by the way, you have memory for all these modes except for strobe. So you can see it's on the highest setting. If I turn it off, when I turn it back on, it comes back on whatever that last setting is. Just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and put this on uh, medium. Turn it off. When I turn it back on, it comes back on medium. I'm going to go ahead and pump this up to high. Let's take a look at what the light looks like. You know, you got this orange peel reflector, so that makes a very nice, smooth light. You don't have any weird artifacts or weird things going on. You have a nice spot. You have a nice flood. Nothing weird going on here. Very nice, clean light. We're in my backyard. The sun is almost set. But you can still make out my fence line right here. It's about 15 yards here in the corner. All the way there is almost 20 yards. So I have my Through Night Archer 1A version 3. And I'm shining it down range. And you can't see nothing. Why? Because it's Firefly mode. See that? Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the mode button and bring it up to low and you can see with low I could actually shine some light against that fence there and you could see it but it's not too remarkable I'm going to go ahead and just pan down a little bit so you can see it on the grass there now we'll go ahead and bump it up to medium and then we'll bump it up again to high you can see there's some raindrops here it's raining a little bit so there's your 200 lumens very very impressive for a little a little very small flashlight with just a single AA battery I'm gonna put the spot sort of straight down in the middle right there so you can sort of see the flood I'm gonna move it over to your right so you can see how far the flood comes out um, so you can see your flood here the edge of the flood right about here and you can see the spot edge of the spot right there in the center right around there next thing I'm going to do is just sort of shine this full power into the woods here just so you can see and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in there so you can sort of see how far I could actually see with this little guy I mean that is extremely impressive again single double A battery with this kind of power in your pocket. So we're in my kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light out. You can see you really can't see too much. You can see a little bit of light that's just coming off the viewfinder. I'm going to go ahead and take my flashlight and shine it off the ceiling. 200 lumens. And again, I could just take this and set it down like a candle and it's lighting up the whole room here. And see, no, no tricks here, you can see. And again, if I put it over in front of me, it'll illuminate my face a little better. I just got it sitting on the counter right there, see? A few more things before we wrap things up that I forgot to cover. It's impact resistant to 3.3 feet. And the weight with the battery, because it doesn't make sense to give you the weight without the battery, because you're going to be carrying it with you, right? Um, 2.4 ounces with this AA battery that I put in here. So, incredibly light. I'm glad that they made this flashlight even easier to carry. So, if you need a small tactical flashlight in your pocket ready to go, this is pretty cool and definitely a solution to your issue. An EDC tactical flashlight, 200 lumens, single AA battery. 
awesome. I love it. I love it a lot. This is my favorite flashlight in the uh, through night selection of flashlights. It's the one that I use the most. The ones that I have used the most out of all my through night in the past when it was version 1, version 2, and now version 3. Whoops, it is impact resistant. Don't drop. <laughs> Okay, so if you're interested, um, I provided the link in the description box below. Just click it and buy it and have an awesome flashlight. Alright, well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.